into the hands of the people who are from Ghana, from Africa, teach photography to kids and give them an opportunity to visually represent their country, their continent, their culture, their religion. So what did you take a picture of? You like it? Is that your first camera? Is that your first one? If you're taking a picture of a person standing and you want their whole body, you have to turn the camera, right? You can't always hold it like this. You have to try new things, experiment, right? <laughs> That's me talking about me. I think that's all Hajra. Do you have any more stuff? You said no, right? Hajra. What? Wash it? No, 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 it stays. That way I know they belong to you. So Jamie, do they keep their pictures and they give them back to you or they keep them and that's it? Okay. And then I'll have to hand out the pictures to the people in the picture. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'll have them give away the pictures. But some, it's funny, some are very generous about giving away pictures and some aren't. They keep them for themselves. Some keep every single picture. <laughs> I'll come back on Thursday. Thursday. You're looking at the photographs? <laughs> Thursday, and I'll bring more film for you, okay? So, by Syria. I'll end up going to have whatever. The kids were between the ages of 6 and 14 years old. They had no experience with photography, and they came a long way. Our first day of class was 
pretty hilarious because the kids were asking me questions like, should I wash my camera? Some of them were holding the, the camera way out in front of their face as if it were digital. I had to explain to them to close one eye and bring the camera up really close and look through the little hole and line up their picture in the hole. And Up until about the last few weeks we were still going over don't open your camera when there's film inside. We had lots of exposed rolls of film. I taught them about when to use flash and I taught them how to use the self-timer so that they could take self-portraits which was a very popular assignment. The kids got really carried away with that one. I even had to get to the point where I told them they could stop doing that so we could move on to other things. We went to the Daily Graphic newspaper in Accra on a field trip, which is the paper I worked at in 2004. So, Hajra, Hajra, what time am I coming tomorrow? Nine o'clock. And where are we going? Going to the newspaper. The newspaper. <laughs> so everyone, what time am I coming tomorrow? Nine o'clock. Mina, what time am I coming tomorrow? Nine o'clock. Okay, good. Where are we going, Mina? You don't know. Yeah, we're going where? The We went to the internet cafe to view photography online, talk more about composition, and I showed them some other websites of similar organizations teaching photography to children in India, Guatemala, Rwanda, so they could see what other kids their age were doing. And we also had a photo exhibit at the first and only All Youth Art Gallery in Accra, which is owned and run by the Junior Art Club. Junior Art Club is a nonprofit organization in Ghana, which teaches art to children from the uh, more impoverished neighborhoods in Accra and some of the rural neighborhoods right outside of Accra. They were nice enough to let us have an exhibit in their gallery and they were also sponsoring a photography contest while I was there and they invited my students to join the contest and four of my students ended up getting top honors. They were Olivia, Hajra, Steven, and Ahmed. I told you, in a year. I have a picture, can I draw it? No, I don't have any more cameras. No, I have some. You have a camera? Really? Okay, you have a camera? Then I need to see it. Okay, you get it and show it to me. I'm 